Welcome on the channel and today we have a little different kind of video not game video but ant video because I jump in ant keeping hobby during the summer and now I got my own ant colony or beginning of ant colony queen and a few workers so let's make a little video and I try to keep up with you how this colony is growing and before I got my own colony, I went out, out there and tried to find my own queen. Unfortunately, I wasn't lucky enough to find my queen, so I perched online. And my queen is Campanatus nicobarensis. So let's give them first time food, since I got them yesterday. And see what they think about this creature. And here is our cricket jam. It's pretty small a while, but ants doesn't obviously eat too much. And since this is kind of fresh thing and full of moisture, it will spoil very fast. So it lasts only a few days in fridge after you open it, or I will freeze it so it lasts a little bit longer. Just tip of the spoon. Just a little bit for ants, and still it has plenty of food and much more than what they can eat. But it lasts pretty long time. And as you can see, it's kind of gross, disgusting jam made from crickets, but ants apparently like those. Smells pretty terrible. But let's see how our ants are taking this prey. Okay, so it took maybe 10 minutes or so before this one prey worker and actually got out from this tube and started exploring a little more. It was a little bit on next to the test tube on the left side when I was adding that food in, in enclosure. But as we can see, slowly and surely this brave ant is is smelling smelling this this cricket jam and I'm getting inter interested uh, if you're wondering why I'm using that red plastic around the tube or red foil it's apparently because ants doesn't see true red color so I can keep my lights on and they don't disturb or they are not anxious or anything. They're just chilling, chilling in their tube. And example, if I'm moving, moving that uh, foil a little bit sideways, and example, queen and that nest is on on direct light, they get a little bit anxious and and start running around, a little panicking, I would say. So it just keeps them calm. Just keep them calm. But now our ant has found this first prey. I have no idea when. I mean, of course, I know when they ate last time. They've been feeding from their queen in their test tube, and this is their first real food and real meat. Real meat? Real prey ever for this colony. So, of course, they're super careful and want to make sure that this is actually safe to eat before this worker is carrying this prey for queen and for colony. And as I said, that this is my first colony, this is that's not completely accurate. I bought another Cabinetus Nicobarensis colony earlier this summer, but something happened. I kept all conditioning well, I was feeding them, but there was like one active worker, which was like founder worker, and once this worker died, something happened and this whole colony stopped eating. They were growing numbers. I went all the way up to 15 workers, but then 
they never got out from their nest. They were not eating nothing. And then over one night they generally all died except Queen, which was super confusing and uh, I guess just nature happened. But if you are interested, I can make little stickman drawing thing and explain that whole story of that of that mighty colony which fall suddenly. If you if you want, just let me know in comments. But yeah, this is the second one and hopefully this works and drive much better and I can actually get this colony out from test tube into their proper nest what I have. I'm, I'm thinking I'm waiting till we have like 20 workers 15-20 workers and then I can unblog unblog this outer world and connect to to that nest and see how they hopefully find that suitable and move their whole colony, their larvae, their PPS and, and queen of course into that nest. Now we have at least two brave workers who is gathering food, which is super super cool to see. Uh, when I got this, got this uh, colony, I had queen four workers and then on every next day one worker hatched and that was like today this mornings this day's morning when I record this feeding feeding video but then and, and uh, then day of that we got eggs from Queen and six workers so we are we are growing slowly uh, let's take a little peek under or inside the tube under that red layer and then I have a little question for anyone who knows more about ants than I do and here is our glorious queen with three workers taking care of larvas and pupas nice nice Pile and here two prey workers collecting food for our colony. I'm very very excited about this this colony. Like I was of course first one. So let's hope that this this drives everything goes well and we can actually have proper big colony. We can feed them nice prey and not just cricket jam or I've been thinking fruitless a uh, flightless fruit flies to start feeding them after cricket jam but we'll see but hey no that part what I want to ask from you and keeper bros I got this in water tower thing with this enclosure and I've been wondering can ants actually drink from it? It has like small sponge bottom of it and that water is going through that sponge and evaporating slowly. At least I think it's just evaporating and I can see how water level is going lower on the tower. But my question is can ants actually drink from it or is the water level just going lower because it's evaporating from the, through the sponge and keeping up humidity inside the enclosure because I've seen like that one worker ant going around that tower and kind of poking on those sponges but I'm not quite sure can they drink from it so should I like just have a little water dish which has like cotton or something so they can drink through the cotton and not get in the water and accident drown or something or can they actually just drink and I just haven't seen it so I hope someone can help or if you have any other tips or tricks for ant keeping or some feedback based on this video just let me know my very very first ant keeping video so hopefully 
there's some interest for these videos and uh, for this this uh, Campanatus and Nicobarensis colony and we'll see how fast we are getting new workers how much we are getting new broods and how our colony is going to thrive thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully I see you on next time thank you so much Bye-bye.